BZI presents Kero Jula Challenge Business Plan Competition. All right, we are the GCC here chilling with some young men who are waiting eagerly to get into the tent to meet the judges. But before anything, I want to just ask them their names. What's your name, boss? My name is Sirajo Jallo. I am uh, Samba Kurubali, and we are here to solve uh, issues of traffic jams. I'm Estate. Okay, tell them our MC city. Do you think you have what it takes to win this competition? Yeah, I sure. I'm sure and I have the belief that I'm going to be part of the winners. What about you? You think you have what it takes to win this competition? Of course. Yeah. yeah. You're going to win all the all the money. I don't know whether I win all the money, but I'm having 95% to 100% sure that I may win it. All right. My name is Omar Fatih from uh, Brochery Phase 1, a company that deals with electrical solar and electronic security. What would you say to young people who are watching you right now to encourage them to participate in events like this? Well, I would tell them to keep trying and persisting. And this is what it takes for everyone here who is really high-spirited. And some of them are with mixed feelings and they want to go into the tent, meet the judges, and they are pitching under three minutes. And once that three minutes is up, that's it for them. And it's left with the judges now to tell us who moves on to the next phase. Hello and welcome. This is the Kirk Jula Challenge, first ever televised business plan competition. Last week, we were in summer in the heart of the Lower River region, and we had an amazing time with the participants and the judges. Today, we are in Bijilo, and the judges are going to be meeting the participants. Earlier today, I was outside with the participants, and a lot of them are in high spirits. I can say only about two of them were a bit nervous. The Kerujula Challenge, is brought to you by the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, the International Labour Organization, the Italian Corporation, and QCEL Senior Our judges are here, and they're going to be listening to the participants pitch their business plan ideas in three minutes. I'm going to be speaking to judge number one, who is Kara Jain. Kara, what exactly are you going to be looking at today? Well, I'm so excited to be here and I'm hoping to see beautiful ideas, you know, something that could make the Gambia to be in the world map. That's what I'm excited to see. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kara. Babukar Njaj is judge number two and I think he's our chief judge for today with the bell. They are going to be pitching their business plan and it has to make sense to you in three minutes. How difficult is your task? Well, I'm triple tasking, I think. <laughs> I'm doing the timing. Um, also responsible for making sure that the, uh, the participants presenting are comfortable, just so that they can easily share what they have to share. Today we'll be looking at the concept feasibility and also their presentation skills to start okay. with. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Mr. C.D. Besunda, George number three. This is for information, communication and technology general overview of the information communication technology business in this country what, what's your take on that i think it's uh well thank you um it's, i'm excited to be here today um i think uh, ict generally in gambia is quite challenging um there's a lot of competition so it's important that your business is something that can scale, scale um, but something for which there's a demand in the market but also so for something that there's a unique value proposition all right Looks like our judges are ready. I am ready. The participants who are outside are ready. And the first one is already on standby outside waiting to come in. This is how we do it. Three minutes is all they have. And right after that, it's up to the judges to decide who moves on to the next step. Good luck to all the participants. Hi there. How are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. What is your name? Uh, My where name are is... you from? My name is Usman Jane, proprietor of OC Connections and Accessories, located in Gunjur and operating virtually across the country. Okay, how do you feel about being here today? Yeah, I'm very excited to be here because if I'm fortunate to, part, uh, to be part of the winners, it's going to support my business a lot. Okay, great. We would like to hear what you have to share. We're listening. Go ahead. All right, thank you very much. Uh, out of need and importance of communication, 
That's why OC Connections was established five years ago to make mobile airtime accessible to individuals, business sectors, and communities that struggle and travel far to buy credit from GSM uh, outlets. After a, after a careful study of the communication market in the Gambia, despite the low profit margin offered by the GSM companies, I was convinced that looking at the digital world that we are, where almost everyone has a cell phone, that there is sufficient market to improve or increase turnover in credit sales in the Gambia. As a young entrepreneur, I was eager to start to explore the market. So I started with a capital of $2,000. I cannot forget that. And now I can happily tell you, my turnover is over a million dollars dealing in three different products now. My ambition is to inspire and to be part of those successful young Gambian entrepreneurs so that we can inspire young Gambians also instead of using the back way that they can make it in the Gambia. So this is my ambition. That's why after serving one of the biggest oil company in the Gambia for 10 years, I resigned from a senior position. And now I have employed six staff, including myself. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. What region do you serve? Pardon? What region? What area? Yeah, we are in Combo South, West Coast region. But virtually operating across the Gambia because the business is e-service. How do you virtual? Do you have a website or an app? How do you serve? Yeah, we have, uh, we have staff that rotate. Like normally, we sell people credit, some on credit, and we go every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to collect our cars. And we have a, uh, a Facebook page also that we use. Yeah, so we are competing in the Seracundas, and we are in areas where competition is very less, like people, places like Sinchiwiri, okay. where many Gambians will say it's far, they don't go. So we explore those areas. Okay, um, for me, I'll come in on the side of scalability. Okay. How far do you think you can scale? Is this a business just for Gambia, or you can take the solution outside of Gambia? Uh, this is a business for Gambia and for outside of Gambia. That's why we are registered with UNGM. And as we are talking, we sell the UNOPS. It's a United Nations project in the Gambia. We sell their monetary credit to them. So we can beat even outside the Gambia because the business mission is also to go into accessories as well. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, can you tell me what's unique about your business? Yeah, what is unique about our business is that our business is people basic needs. No one now on this earth can go without, without credit. Whether you are poor or rich, at certain point you must buy credit. So credit is part of, is part of our life now. And communication also, when it comes to business, is the lifeblood of every business. In one way or the other, you must communicate. And I wonder whether that communication can go out of mobile airtime. Okay, I think that's um, all the questions that we have. Good luck on your uh, next journey. Okay? Thank you very much. All right, thanks. All right, sir. What is your name? My and name is Siraja Jallo. And where are you from? Fararo. Uh, can you tell us why you applied for the Kirjula Challenge and what your business idea is? Yeah, I apply here to make this thing Dama, can I speak well? Yeah, Dama know if you put one of my living because Dama book up living hard to open a business. Business be living to the hard to call satellite technician, technician la. Okay. So Dama book up open up a business, put up my make a profit at my jungle need to me. Okay. Yeah, my good customer, my living hard to call it. So, okay, so my living be telling me worldwide. Okay. Nee, Muna Hamne come my league. Go ahead, go ahead. And this thing to me, hard to call it. So, my open is my business be make some profit. You live in Harako, is in in Harako. Maudi live in Harako. I bring some customers and I bring some this thing Harako partners so that we will make a huge impact on the business and so that we can move forward and make the country light through the sunlight and create some business partners outside the world if I can. Okay. Yes, if I have the help and I will always make sure that my business also can be boosted more. 
Ok, comme yeah. like, l'homme m'a dit, c'est l'idée de l'idée ou le business de l'idée de l'idée Non, l'idée de l'idée, j'ai l'idée de l'idée de pour que j'ai un business de l'idée de l'idée de l'idée. Le sponsor, j'ai l'idée de l'idée de l'idée de l'idée de business account. Bi. Ok, Ak, le. ok, alright. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Lamin Kanyi. I'm the CEO and founder of Kanyi Electrical Service. Kanyi Electrical Service, we are located in Kololi, Kololi Taban. Kanyi Electrical Service is an electrical company that's located in Kololi Taban, as I explained to you. Uh, we specialize in electrical installation, commercial and industry. Uh, and then we have a shop also at the same time. We sell electrical appliances like sockets, switches, lamps, ceiling fans, and others. Yeah. Is that the whole presentation or? No, I can continue. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go okay. ahead until you're ready. The reason why, uh, okay, we brought this, I was an electrician and I was an employee, but I realized that I've been using by people. I was working for people for several years. So I decided that before I would be keep on working for people, I decided to open my own company called Kanye Electrical. But before that, I do my studies at GTTI, Gambia Technical Training Institution, now called UNICEF. And then I work for several companies also, one like Coco Ozone Reception and Spa, and then Buffalo Medical Center. So, and then I'm trying to do youth empowerment. I train youths also for an electrical installation free of charge without paying nothing, just to do the youth empowerment. So, uh, the reason why we do that, because I once traveled, I went to Murcinia, you know, to do my feasible study concerning about electrical installation. So when I come back, then I decided to open my company. Why Kololi Tawan? When I was starting the business, financial was a problem. So that's the reason why I located it in Kololi Tawan, because the rent that I'm paying there is not that much expensive. I can able to afford that one without having any sponsor from anywhere. What makes you different from the other electrical sh shops? Okay, like um, Kanyo Electrical Service, we do standard and quality. And like when we sign a contract with you, before the time we deliver your service to you, and the, the, the difference between us and the other electrician, customer's priority is our concern. We want to give you 100% quality service, and then we deal with quality products that make us different. Do you import your own products, or do you buy from other suppliers here in Gambia? Uh, that, no, not yet. We don't import yet. We buy it from our Okay, so the here. service delivery is where the quality is, not the product, because you have no control over that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what is your main business? Is it to train young Gambians or do you provide electrical services and also you train young Gambians? Like, what are you pitching for? Why are you here at, at the Kirtula okay, Challenge? Uh, thank you so much. I'm here for, like, uh, when God makes us to become lucky to win this Kirtula Challenge, we want to expand our business. Instead of we buying, we want to import. And then at the same time also, I want to empower the youths also to create more jobs for them and to create more opportunity for them. When we have the financial, it will be easy for us to expand the business because the structure is already there. We have the structure, we have the idea, we have the experience, but financial is our problem. Are you a uh, one man uh, person or do you have many other people that you, they're working no, for No, nobody's financing me. I'm financing myself. When I have my contract, that's the contract that I sustain to the business. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do you have people working for you as well? Yeah. How many? Uh, we are four. Four? Yeah, including me, make it five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Right now, is the business paying you? Uh, no, I'm the one feeling the business, but the business is not paying me. All right, people, I'm just here with Mr. Osman Janek, faced the judges and delivered his business plan in three minutes. How do you feel right now? Yeah, I feel so excited to uh, be part of this uh, competition, and I'm very confident that I will make it to the top. What message do you have for young people who are watching you right now? We can make it in the Gambia. Okay, Sergio, you know GCCI, the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the International Labour Organization, the Italian Corporation, and QSAL brought this whole thing together. What message do you have for them? Yeah, I'm thanking them a lot because they are doing great in the country. They are helping youths. Yeah, and that's the best thing in the country. If the youths are going forward, always, the country must go forward. But how do you feel after delivering to the judges? Yeah, I feel so happy and grateful. Yeah, I'm happy and I'm hoping to be a winner. Yeah, and if I don't win, I may come, if I have another, if there is another chance, I may come against and express myself. Because, how to call you, how did they say it? How do they say it again? If you keep trying, 
you may maybe 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 the winner one day. Outside, you are very confident. Are you still confident? Yeah, I'm still confident, sir. What's making you so confident? Because I know what I'm doing, and then I have confidence, and then I have experience about the job also. What message do you have for people who are watching you right now? Young people especially. Well, let's keep it up. Yeah, Gambian youth are definitely trying their level best, and people also need to check them back and feed them back also. Yeah. Basically, uh, do you think it's really easy doing business in the Gambia? No, definitely it's not easy. But in life, nothing also is easy. Yeah, you have to just keep it up. Just have the passion and the faith that you can able to make it. My name is Samba Kuruwali. And where are you from? Uh, I am from uh, Sinchu Alaji, from place I am from. But then uh, I'm a network officer in uh, GRA. But I was also working for INSYS Global as a developer. I am here to represent the Bike App team. And the Bike App is uh, a mobile application which intends to solve the issue of traffic jams in this country. And we all are in experience of the traffic jams that we encounter daily. Some of us, we leave our homes two hours uh, before work and we reach uh, our homes two hours after work. That is four hours you can use to be productive elsewhere. So the bike, uh, what it intends to be is to be a reliable uh, alternative means of transportation. Let's say Ibrahima intends to use our app. What Ibrahima needs to do is to download the app, register with us, and then input his current location and his destination. After Ibrahima has done that, uh, a driver will be notified and then the notification of a driver is automated by the system to ensure that uh, it's automated the driver that is closest to uh, Ibrahima's current location in terms of distance that's the driver who will be notified and when that driver is notified he can either accept or reject the ride when the driver accepts the ride then Ibrahima will also be notified of a pricing but we are also very concerned about fair pricing we intend to make the bike app really uh, affordable for all Gambians. But also, it's a platform uh, where uh, motorcyclists will also need to come and register. The motorcyclists, they also have to register, download uh, the app and register with us. And then what we are trying to do is to tap into an avenue which has not been tapped in yet, uh, in the uh, urban area, which is uh, creating, uh, uh, providing opportunities for motorcyclists in which, where, where they can also earn a living also driving their motorbikes. Uh, in that way, we also, we also know that uh, uh, we have an unreliable transport system. But then with the bike app, we intend to make it a reliable partner, very stable, and then in such a way that uh, transportation will be faster and more reliable uh, in this country. So I understand. Um, <laughs> um, is it a carpooling app or is it a ride hailing app? By carpooling, meaning that if I'm going in your direction, I can give you a ride and you pay me something? Or is it a ride hailing app where it's like a taxi and you can hire me as a taxi to take you from A to B? Yes, and to be clear, it's motorbikes. Uh, so basically, uh, we are trying to make sure that it's, for now, it wouldn't be pulling because motorbikes usually it's safer just to have okay. one so person behind it's you. it's a motorcycle? Yes, it's you, a motorcycle. You hire a motorcycle? You hire a you. motorcycle. Okay. Uh, and then that motorcycle will be able to take you to your okay. destination. Okay, clear. And how do you make money? Uh, for us, as a platform. Yes. For us, how we make money? Yes. Uh, at the beginning, we intend to make it free. And if we can get, uh, uh, if, we can, uh, if we can lobby, funds here and there we will try to make it free but in case we cannot uh arts also you can make money through arts also but okay. then we intend to make it free for both the, because if payment has to be done then the driver might need to make subscription with us although that's also uh, uh that's also an option but we don't we don't intend to use that option we intend to lobby funds here and there uh so that we can keep the uh, application running and, uh, and the staffs who are running the application uh, to be to be getting paid. How are you going to get drivers to uh -huh. to join the app? Drivers, all they need to do is to download uh, the app. But how are you going to get them to do that? Uh, uh, through advertisements, uh, and then I have uh, I have experience in this because currently uh, I have started a startup which is Settle Cleaning Services. www.settlecleaning.com uh, and what we are doing is we are paying for ads through Facebook. Okay. And when we pay for ads through Facebook, 
Facebook is a uh, in a huge platform. And then anyone who is thinking about cleaning service and stuff like this, Facebook has a way of. Is there any um, regulation with regards to motorbikes and passengers? Because I understand that with the tuk-tuk tricycles, there have been some issues in the past. Is there any regulations in place that's going to hinder your business from pick from the taxi um, motorcycle bikes picking up passengers? Uh, you know, you know, it is an app. And because it is an app, when you are registering with us, we take your motorcycle, we take, we, we have details of your ID card. We also will have details of your motorcycle. So with that being the case, if anything should happen, we should be in a position in order to be able to easily track whoever is responsible for that. And My question, this is, yeah. this is um, beyond your control. This is more like uh, government regulations. What do, is there any regulation in place by the government or transport union to prevent motorcyclists from picking up passengers, just like how taxis do? To my knowledge, uh, I think there is no regulation of that. There's no regulation? To my knowledge, there is no regulation of that. Okay. But what we intend to do is just to provide a platform. What we are doing is we are basically just providing a platform okay. and advertise the platform for use. Mm. So if government has an issue with it, or maybe to talk to government about what we need to do to the police. You might then, want to consider that because you don't yes. want to burn your cash and then get yes, to realize yes, that yes, yes. there's, you know, yes. there's so no... So we will try and talk to the police okay. about this and then we will see whether they are in line with it. Uh, have yeah. you tested the app or is it out there? The app is not yet out there. Okay. It is currently being built. Okay, so uh, we don't have manpower. So currently we are projecting six months uh, to build it because we have, I think, we have two people building it and one person is our project manager. Uh, my name is Mustafa Conte. Um, I live at Westfield and um, I am the founder of Protect Gambia. Okay. I graduated um, in electrical engineering and automation from Liaoning University of Science and Technology. Upon graduation, I started a business under electronic security systems. Protec is a dealer in latest artificial intelligence and electronic security systems. We provide the latest biometric smart attendance systems that enables workers, staff, or students to clock in and clock out in a very fast and effective manner. I have realized that majority of organizations, companies, even schools in Gambia use the manual mode of taking attendance, which is inaccurate sometimes and consists of time fraud and a lot of disadvantages. With the help of these biometrics, employees can clock in and clock out in a very fast and effective manner. We are not only limited to biometrics, we do also have access controls that we program ourselves with the help of an RFID card. This enables only personalized um, auto, um, only personalized um, staff to have access to a certain area. Um, the scalability of our business is beyond measures. As we know, as the business grows, there would be a demand in our products. So as will there be a demand to increase more staff. And um, it's also very, very environmental friendly, easy to use. We are going to generate our revenue through consultancy services that we are going to render to our customers and the products and services that we are going to sell. Uh, so to get it clear, you sell biometric devices? Yes. So, okay. Um, what, what is unique about your offering? Why, if I had a choice, why would I come to you? Okay. Because most of the biometrics available in the country right now use the fingerprints. And we have the facial recognition ones. And also we produce RFID cards that we program, uh, customize, we customize ourselves based on your preference. Do you rely on one supplier or do you work with a bunch of suppliers in the industry? Okay, we basically have two suppliers for now. That's, uh, we only have two and a backup one. In case this one doesn't provide the quality that we want, you can run to the next supplier. Is any competitor able to do this or is it only you that can do this in Gambia? Well, for now, RFID cards, I have, I have done my research as well, but I have not seen companies that are, pre, um, that are programming RFID cards at this moment. Okay, thank you. Um, how do you see yourself growing? Um, well, I am at the startup stage right now. We've already had, um, we've already had um, two contracts. The one is not yet signed um, with KMC, but um, one with um, GIZ, which we are supposed to install by next week. So we are actually at the startup stage right now. Okay, what's your niche? What's your target audience? Um, my target 
audiences, um, schools, um, schools, banks, and NGOs. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm fine, alhamdulillah, fine time. Are you using your phone to pitch or? No, 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 no. Is it I'm on just silent? checking the time. Okay, great. All right. Um, well, I am the CEO of Fatih and Sons Techniques. Fatih and Sons Techniques is a company that deals with electrical, solar and electronic security. When we say electronic security, this includes CCTV, time attendance, biometric system, system installation, and many more. Yeah. We do this because we believe that we can provide the best quality services in to our customers. And also we do train some youth to acquire skills to be self-reliant. So I understand you, so you provide solar? Electrical. And you electricals? And CCTV installation. And CCTV. Yes. Okay. And what is your niche market? Huh? Where, where, where do you focus? Who is your customer? Well, my customers mostly are from the solar side. Okay. Yes. And what do you do for them? I do servicing for them, installation. I install solar systems for them. Okay. Yes. Are these for homes or for businesses? For homes, for businesses. How are you different from another solar installer? We are many at the market. There are many solar installers. There are many solar installers. There are many electrical installers, many... CCTV, but we provide the best quality service to the standard one. What's best quality to you and what's best quality in the perspective of the customer? I believe we do the customer satisfaction because we take feedback from our customers. When we do is to listen for them, we make sure their feedback is always to us. Then we also work towards our weekend areas then to develop our society again. What do you think customers are looking for when, they, when you talk about best service? What are customers looking for? Customers are looking for their satisfaction in the state of wherever they are spending their money there. They expect their need to be well done. As the way they want their system to be done, that's the way we have to deliver it. Because if we cannot get to that stage, meaning still we are not, we are not delivering the, our, our services to them, to their satisfaction. How do you see yourself growing? Well, Alhamdulillah, I thank God, because the start was a little bit tough, but now we are going on it gradually. So I see myself as I'm going to develop more and more as the way I am going and the way I am also learning again to improve my working areas. Okay. Are you making any profit as of now? Yes, Alhamdulillah. And how long have you been operating? Well, I'm operating for like nine years now. Nine years? Yes. All right, people, I'm here with Biran Bah and Samba Krubali. And Samba Krubali and Biran Bah, their team, but then Samba was the one who was able to pitch. You were inside watching Samba pitch. How did you feel when you saw him pitching? Yes, I was not really worried because, you know, we actually practiced and then we did some rehearsal together. Hopefully, we will go come for the second audition, then see where this thing goes. Okay. Yeah. So if you win this seed capital, what are you going to do with this money? Basically, uh, what we intend to do is to provide a platform uh, and this platform uh, is going to be used by commuters and then motorcyclists. How did you feel now that you just faced the judges and pitched? Three minutes, how was it like? Well, at first I was, honestly, I was kind of nervous, but then I got some encouragement, I had some self-talk, then it, was, it wasn't that, as I thought, it was really, really, it felt like talking to, to my friends and yeah. Were the judges very Im intimidating? Um, not really. They asked questions that I expected myself, so it wasn't that challenging to me, okay. honestly, yeah. Right. So what message do you have for young people who are watching you right now? Instead of them just sitting at home, please encourage them to do something, but I want to hear what you have to tell them. Okay, yeah. Um, personally, myself, I was just like any other guy on the streets. Um, like for two years, I was just around thinking there's no opportunity or nothing I can do around. But then I came to realize that there are lots of opportunities available in the country that we ourselves are not seeing because we are not seeking for it. So, but the moment I started seeking for opportunities, uh, it started coming in different channels. And uh, my advice, to, my advice to, to the young ones out there is never think there is, there is no opportunities. There are limitless opportunities available and you can actually seek for them. And when you seek, you're going to get them, definitely. How did you feel when you were on that stage facing the judges? 
Well, I feel excited and I feel like it's an opportunity for me to advert myself and advert my business to show the world what I can do and what I'm capable of it. All right, all right. You just did that and you did that in such an amazing way. But do you still think you have what it takes to win this business plan competition? Yeah, I believe. I believe so based on, you know, what I did inside down there. I believe, you know, I'm going to be among the first persons, inshallah. You're watching the Kiru Jula Challenge. And this is getting interesting and more interesting as we keep going. Well, we're going to take a quick break now. But when we come back, hmm, the judges will see more participants. As the fastest growing GSM company in the Gambia, QCell has the widest 4G plus coverage in the country three times faster internet speed than our competitors. So switch now and dial star 335 hash and enjoy what true 4G feels like. QSOP, Gambia's trusted network. Welcome back from that commercial break. Well, this is the Curry Jula Challenge, the first ever televised business plan competition. Before we went on the break, the judges had seen some of the participants who were on this stage to pitch their business plan in three minutes. Are the judges wild? I'm not too sure yet, but we will find out who moves on to the next round. And now please prepare for the next participant to come on this stage. My name is our MCC, the founder of C Enterprise. Um, my business is basically on making solar dryers, which means to help the rural women in gardening. Sometimes we find difficulties to store our materials. But with the help of the solar dryer, you can, store, you can dry your materials after then you store it for a long period of time. Then after then you can use it. And it's so hygienic too. This business um, is found, it was, sorry. Take your time, be, be comfortable, huh? okay. okay? Okay, it's a business that was formed last year but we had a project that helped us. We want to extend it so that to have the women, even in the combos here too, the, our market, uh, the ones that we market our products to um, at the villages are the rural women and the women's cafes too. So we also want to bring it here also. We help our women that are doing gardening and even individuals to store their materials. Because we see that in the rainy season, after the rainy season, some of our mangoes got spoiled because of keeping storing of our materials. It's a difficult it But with the help of the solar dry, you can store your materials. Yes, then after then you can use it for a long period of time. Two questions. Okay. What materials are you referring to? Is it seeds? No. What materials? Sometimes um, you can use this local, I don't know how to call it in Mandinka. Okay, let me say. You understand Mandinka? Yes. Um, local herbs, you can even dry those things there. Okay. You can use mangoes, even tomatoes. You can dry them there because sometimes in marketing here, Gambia, when um, a time of tomato comes, a lot of women uh, produce protect, uh, prote potatoes. And most of the markets, sometimes it got spoiled. When, it do, when people do not buy okay, so it. But if you cut it into pieces and you dry it, then you can use it after. So it's to dry produce? Yes. So that they can sell? Yeah. Or so that they can cook later? They can be cooked later or you can, if... Okay. Yes, you can sell it and they can use but, it too. So the it depends on your experience, the way you're going to uh, help your customers to understand. Okay. Yes. So um, why not put it in the sun? Why huh? use a solar dryer? In the raining season, you cannot dry something on that because sometimes rain might come and it may, may wet all your products. So if you put it in the solar dryer and store it in a cool place and a dry place, when the rain comes, you put it inside while it is in the solar dryer. What is the cost of a solar dryer? Solar dryer, um, last time we sold it 5000 Okay. Yes. And um, where is your market? In the combos or in the rural areas? In the rural area. We had a women's... That women's challenge. Yes, that's, those are the ones that sponsor us. We made it and take it to the up area and they were so happy. How much produce 
can one dryer dry? Ah, it's men. It has chambers. It has we chambers. We use a fridge, a scrap fridge, to make okay. it so it has chambers. You arrange it there. Okay, so you yes. recycle a fridge. Yes. Okay. Is yeah. that sustainable? Yeah, so. There are that many scrap fridges out there. Ah, uh, yes. We use scrap fridge and decorate it and make it so high in there. You said you were part of the women's challenge. Yes. What's your impact so far from your last challenge? What are you doing in your community? How many women at least have you impacted in their businesses? Um, right now, you know, here it's like they are not into that much gardening, but only few people, individuals that contact us to make it for them. Yes. So the impact was low? Here, it was low. But How about in the upcountry? Yeah. They, they are requiring for more. So your main business is supplying um, dryers, Solar basically. dryers, yes. Are we you want just, to advance. Are you just selling it or are you we, actually... We made it and we supply it. So you're basically a manufacturer of solar yes. dryers yes. in the Gambia. Yeah. Do you have any competitors? I didn't see any. I am Alex David Pratt and I am a Gambian living in Bijilo. I applied for this challenge because I am an entrepreneur who has a thriving business that is in dear need of financial resources to expand to the next level. And what is my business idea? Well, let me start first with the problem that we're solving. We live in a nation with a majority of people that are digitally illiterate. That leaves us with a workforce of many people who can't use the basic hardware and software they need to get their job done. Many companies don't have full-time IT personnel, and even those who do are handicapped because their staff are technically incompetent. We solve this problem by offering companies reliable and fast technical support and assistance. We manage their IT infrastructure by helping them to remove viruses and adwares that may be troubling their PCs. We also offer them cloud solutions to see to it that they're able to remotely collaborate. Aside from catering for businesses, we also offer um, selling um, merchandise that is consumer electronics, phones and laptops to home PC users and the general public. We currently do not have a space on our own, but we're using a co-working space around Allianz Franco. We would intend to get our own place and purchase a large inventory of products should we be given this investment. Aside from the services I mentioned earlier, which include systems administration, other things that we do include helping companies see to it that they're secure. That is by offering pen testing services. We also troubleshoot their wireless problems and also help them with repair and maintenance. This we achieve not only on-site, that is at their business location, but they could also visit our place or we can help them to solve their problems online through a phone call or through remote desktop com um, um, connection. I, have, I built my first website in middle school and I have the necessary skills and competence to deliver this service to a wide range of people. Um. Alex, um, yes. thank you um, for the presentation. Um, you offer, when you say you offer I, 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 ICT services, yes, what is the primary niche? Do you um, set up or do you just maintain? Do you offer antivirus support? What exactly is your niche? That you Our main niche is systems administration. Okay, system that admin. Is managing okay. the entire IT infrastructure of primarily corporate, that is enterprises, B2B, business to business. Okay. Yes, okay. and we also help them with repairs and everything that comes in that package, systems mm -hmm. administration. What makes, you, what makes your service delivery unique? Well, apart from our credible brand, unlike the many other competitors we have, they are not really reliable. I mean, usually when companies try to outsource some repair services from them, they may not necessarily return it back in one piece. We have a very credible brand and we've sustained relationships with clients such as Allianz Franco, Gambia Tech Project and many other prominent institutions because of our brand, our integrity. Aside from that, what also makes us stand out 
is the vast amount of experience we have in this field and the competence. We also do not only offer our service on site like many other people, you just have to meet them at their business location. No, we also drop our products off to you and we meet you at your business location. So that distinguishes us from any other player in this industry. Uh, how, do you see, how do you see yourself growing? Well, I see us rapidly growing because we've been able to secure a large number of customers in a very short space of time. And we're looking at getting a shop, as I explained, because we don't yet have our own place. We're using a co-working space. But in order to grow, we want to get our own site and we also want to purchase some of the hardware and software that is necessary to carry out our job. Okay, thank you so much. How do you plan to um, be unique in your business? How do you plan to use technology yes, for remote service delivery? Because I know that's possible in IT. Is anybody doing this? How do you plan to do that? Well, there are people who are attempting to do this, but they're not entirely successful. We do not only offer the services that I explained, that is helping um, companies to work remotely. We also have it internally, because not even everyone in our team works on site. We have people that work with us remotely, and we use a wide range of technologies, Slack, um, talking about Google Drive, you name it. So we have the necessary competence that it takes to also implement it in other companies. So as to how we're going to do this is through leveraging different softwares, such as video conferencing softwares, um, you name it. I mean, cloud services, right? We are able to back up every of the data of maybe a customer or client on the cloud, and people can access it remotely, and they can telework. They don't really need to be on site. So that's one of the many packages that we offer. As a young business, yes, how do you intend to win the hearts of your first clients and retain them for the long term? Well, as I already explained about the few customers we've been able to settle, how we intend to retain them is by offering them special discount packages. And aside from that, we also have bonuses. For example, if you purchase a laptop from us, because we also help them, that is our companies and our customers, to get the necessary electronic merchandise they need. We are able to offer them free repair services, and we are also giving them loyalty cards. With those cards, they're able to get certain um, services, such as troubleshooting, free. Apart from that, we also do follow-ups, and we ensure that we do many other things to really sustain customer relationship. Because at Fortizo Technologies, customer satisfaction is our priority. Another way we also do that is by offering refunds, right? Per adventure, maybe some of our customers are not necessarily satisfied with our service or our product. So those are the ways and the strategies that we intend to use to sustain and create new relationships. My name is Isa Diok. I'm from Yuna Village. Isa, you have three minutes to tell us about why you, why you applied for the Kirjula Challenge. Okay. And your business plan? My business plan is Skylight specialized in solar and electrical, solar, electrical, and building materials. Solar, electrical, and building materials is the solution. The business plan, the business idea is a solution and at the same time a need that I want to offer to my community. my community of Yuna, where I am doing my business currently. There is a big logistical challenges. Logistical challenges that is facing the trading of goods. Trading of goods. Goods are available, but to transfer them from one place to another is a big challenge. So due to that, I want to innovate and be the first businessman to delivery, to offer a delivery service to my community and create jobs for youth. My product is solar, electrical, and building materials. There is a market for it because in my community, most of the people have neither electricity and solar. So you sell the solar 
and you installed the solar? Yeah, I installed the solar, I installed the solar. Okay, and you focus primarily in Yuna? Yeah. Why do you choose this business? Why? What's the main reason? I choose this business, uh, as I tell you. Sorry, can I? Do you mind if you don't use the pitch? Just okay. talk, talk from the idea, because it's a business okay, okay, that you... Okay, yeah. sorry. I, used, I choose the business because of I want to innovate it for my community. I say from my community, there is no shop that is providing quality solar and electrical materials. So I want to come up with an idea and be the first businessman that produced that from my community. Okay. Do you have experience in solar installation? Yeah, I, yeah, I did. Were you working with another organization? Yes. Aisha, how are you feeling now? Alhamdulillah, <laughs> it was fine. Though. I thought how it's going to be. It was cool inside, yeah. So you have what it takes to win this competition? So, you still have that power? Yeah. yeah. That energy? <laughs> yes. How was it like in there? Well, at first, to be quite honest, I was a bit nervous. But when I got in there, I just took a deep breath and I was myself. Although the judges asked very critical and technical questions, such as what makes your business stand out? So it was head on, but I believe I answered quite confidently. You still think you have what it takes to win this business plan competition? I, I don't think I have what it takes. I think I have more than what it takes. I like this guy. He has more than what it takes. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Asa D. York. Yes, York, as in New York. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm feeling good. So now that you've pitched your business plan idea inside, yeah. are you so confident that you have what it takes to win or to move to the next level? Yeah, I'm so confident that I will be the part of the winner's next level, inshallah. I like to advise my fellow youths, let them go into business. There are more opportunities that you can have in the business. Yeah. Um, my name is Amadou Saraba. Okay. My name is Kanifi Estate. So my business idea is Ma'am. I have a um, photocopy, printing, laminating, and t-shirt banners. business idea is a good idea. So I have a banjul. I have a business idea for banjul. Because the idea is to have a good idea. Because for the people who are doing this, they can print the t-shirts, they can print the photocopy of the papers, and the banners. That's what I want to do with my business with banjul. And then, the important thing is um, that location is in the Banjul, I can see it at that side. I can see it in the I can photocopy in the Banjul, I can see it in the Banjul, I can see it in the T-shirt printing and banner. How are you going to see the Banjul? Do you have a printer and a photocopy? The location is in the Banjul, I can see it in the photocopy. But I can see it in the Banjul, I can see it in the photocopy printing and laminating. Motor man, I'm that unique thing for you. See, si body banyo, see si area of money, see si body port villa. The for busy place, la law, I'm ne, ni 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 kore so all the time. But I'm a obvious one business be big big. The madam mal set location be first. My whole land land gonna so la. Madam, my yo bo lekofa because my don lache. Law land fi gonna so la ni 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 on photocopy kese la information. Chila fa in the photocopy, a printing, a laminating, si si banyo for you. That's very good. Nala business be my right now. Right now, Alhamdulillah, business we munge them nanka nanka because business we um nyungko just ubi one year regular business we amagum uh because right now so gise business we nyungne kari deme Santa Yala we for ubi this photocopy at printing be so kato masi kote printing bilang gine ne kari gine improve danga gise right now nyungge plan ne so ame a support po hamne dinen amlu nyud muna dimbale si that side dinen muna dem yoka mo bagas. Pour mon emploi, à une étude, nous avons gagné mon yoka mo revenue, si business, l'ol en bouge, inshallah. Yo, so ame halis bi, basically, l'ol en bouge, dans la dame, j'en ai une machine, yoka sa place bi. Pe pare mon emploi. Mon emploi niti. Wa, pour mon emploi niti. Legi soufè ke kenen, ko hamne, mon ta mouti sem business bi, mon yon ibi sa bor. Yo, naka ngay compite, lan mouye nega sa advantage, lan mouye nega sa compite de advantage. Soufè ke nene, lese koku, nyona ak yo lenga am yep, pour yon tok sa bor. What is your unique thing? Well, what I want to do is I want to do door-to-door marketing strategy. Because I want to do the shop, I want to meet individuals. I want to do the shop, I want to do photocopy and printing. I want to do the same product, I want to do the same product. I want to do the same product, I want to do the same product. 
te lego le suma len defale lolu be pare dama le demand back sometimes mala ci len ndax service bu ma len de nek di jox ndax yenan ko doylo lolu dañ ma de reply back mo muna xam tamit naka la gëna muna yoké suma bop and then dama de def tamit this social media this facebook why mostly ne ko ma di use facebook much why whatsapp la de gëna def status pour ñi nga xamanté dañ de soxla this t-shirts ak banners yi ak trade fair bu ñoo ci amna ño xamné ma len di printal business cards yo xamné dañ ko fa use because lolu yeb true fuma ko amé moy social media legol tamit dama de muna mit nit ñi ni ci town bi ma tass ak yow rek may waxtana yow ma jaay suma bop ci suma business because all the time ma muna tass ak yow ni tété rek ñu ñuy wanté tu man suma business la lay sel bala may waxtana yow lu nekka man non la de jëfandiko suma business bi marketing strategy my name is madi gay so i live in bakote and the location of my business is at the same very bakote yes and in business location is very important secondly i have a targeted customers which are the residents of bakote and its surrounding uh, communities uh, to supply them with quality products which guarantees a long usable duration yes in this i have a vision my vision is to be part of the business uh, uh, entrepreneurship those that are supplying quality products to their customers in order to keep them secondly i have a mission my mission is to have a highly committed workforce that are trained in customer care in order to able to deal with the customers that may need my products yes and in every business we have this which is uh, which is simply called sort of analysis which contain the strength weakness opportunities and that of threats the strength of my business is i am open to my customers and i am competitive i join the competition that is within the market how do i do that i do it with the quality products that i supply my customers with you go to the uh, weakness the weakness that i have is a financial constraint which cannot go which a business cannot go behind oh. you come to the opportunities the opportunities i have in my business is the location of my business is attractive it can welcome customers yes you come to the threats in my business the threats are unexpected pandemics or diseases that may come my way during the process of business an example of it could be the covid-19 yes what exactly do you sell yes i even forgot to name that my the name of my business is gamer gmadi mobile and accessories shop which simply means that i deal in mobile and accessories business what's unique about your business what's unique about it the uniqueness about my business is the quality products that i supply my customers with so what's quality to you what's quality what is quality, quality? to you yeah yeah quality to me could be broad but i will limit it to uh, for instance in my speech i made mention that the products that i supply my customers with are usable for a long duration of time amadou s ba amadou naka won sibir ah sante yalla alhamdulillah ah amnañ ci yakar because ñew nañ jaynañ suñu bopa gay pour ñu won len luñ len amal ah deglul nañ ñu laccé nañ ñu tontu nañ len ah lolu ñu ngi ci sante yalla bu baaxa 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 ba li dama bëgg nga xol caméra bi nga wax xalé yi xalé yu ndaw yu nek ci kër gi wala ku xamné muy bëgg duggal euh ci business duga bopam ci way walum business jaay jaay ak jënd ban advice nga len amal suma mbokki ndaw yi ak ñi mag ñi sax ci bopam bu kenn nek bu kenn ya fuss nañu genn dem liggéey because doomi adam amulo dara du du liggéey su tural sa bopa dimbalé sa bopa because tay man boko na ci number one kuma inspire tay ma duga ci this business moy mohammed jackie sal because dama le deglu activity sami dama le gis nim dey jeflante ak nit ñi tay man tami ma ngay ñaan yalla ma dem tollu be romba ko sax ci business bu neka because ndaw ñi bu kenn tok 
ne jok ligay tay so buge har ben sam mag bu nek yira bo la fenen pour dimbalé la lolou kagn la djogal lu ndaw lo munté am bul ko xébal sa bop djogal nga def dara all right my ligay you went in there and you pitched your business plan idea to the judges how did they re respond to your idea yes i hope uh, they bite my idea yes because i went in there explain the business plan that i prepared yeah to my to the best of my ability even though i am new to such an occasion but with the person that i have so uh, entrepreneurship and the belief that i have in myself i believe that I will, even if I'm not part of the winners, but I will go a long way. Yeah, and with this, I am grateful with it because it serves as a point of experience for my life. Well, folks, that's all we have for you in this edition of the auditions here in GCCI's grounds at the heart of Bijilo. My name is Andy Spike, and this program was brought to you by the Gambian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, the International Labour Organization, the Italian Corporation, and of course, QCEL Senior Boss. As I said earlier on, are the judges wild? Well, I don't really know yet. Were they intimidating? I am not so sure. But the participants had delivered, and the judges task is up to them now for them to tell us who will move on to the next phase. My name is Andy Spike. We want to say thank you very much for watching. Catch us again next week. For me now, over and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Julia, Charlie.